Welcome to the Entropy-Based Logic Explained Networks talk. My name is Pietro and I am a PhD student at the University of Cambridge. I will present you this work I've done in collaboration with the University Côte d'Azur and the University of Siena. We all know that deep learning can be accurate. But how can we deploy a model in the real world if we do not understand it? How can we trust its predictions? The key challenge of explainable AI is realizing interpretable models we can trust and deploy. With this work, we aim at addressing three of the main knowledge gaps in explainable AI. First, most explainable AI methods for deep learning are post hoc. That is, the network is free from constraints and the training and the architecture itself do not depend on explanation extraction. After training is complete, post hoc methods do their best to explain what the model learned. And that is that. Second, most explainable AI methods find local explanations which means that explanations are often valid for one sample only. Class-level explanations that are valid for a whole class of samples are extremely rare. And third, most explanations are feature-oriented. For example, features, feature scoring methods identify the most important feature, yes, but they do not explain how such features are combined by the neural network to make decisions. The idea behind this work lies at the intersection of three domains concept-based explainability, attention mechanisms and logic. Now let me just give you a very brief background introduction on these topics. With concept bottleneck models, we can split any end-to-end -end architecture in two parts. A concept encoder and a task predictor. The concept encoder maps raw inputs like image pixels into an intermediate set of high-level human-like features we call concepts. Such concepts can be colors, shapes. So a feature that is more interpretable than image pixels, but not it's not the final task. The task predictor instead takes as inputs such concepts to predict a downstream task, a more complex phenomenon, such as a bird species. This architecture allows to trace task predictions back to the intermediate set of concepts, making explanation extraction much easier and more interpretable. With attention mechanisms, instead, we can identify the most informative set of features for each task. For example, an attention mechanism may discover that the task bird depends more on concepts like beak or wings compared to concepts like hands or wheels. And finally, with logic systems, we can interpret attention scores to extract a symbolic interpretation of the predictions such as if a sample has both a beak and a pair of wings, it's likely we are looking at a bird. Put all these ideas together and BAM! You have an entropy-based logic explained network, or ELAN. An entropy-based logic explained network is a concept-based model providing first-order logic explanations for its predictions using an entropy-based attention layer. 
In Elens, we adapted both the architecture and the loss function to make the model interpretable by design. Now, let me explain how this works bit by bit. Let's start with the architecture. Elens are based on a layer we called entropy layer, which resembles a standard fully connected layer with an attention mechanism for concepts. Imagine we have a fully connected layer with four input units, each one associated to a single concept, like wheel, beak, hands and wings. Now consider the orange weights in the picture. These are the all and only weights associated to the concept wheel. Now consider what happens if we prune all these weights or set them all to zero. This would be equivalent to prune the concept wheel itself. This means that these weights considered as uh, together as a whole, as a group, they summarize the importance of the concept wheel for the network. Now, as a first step, the entropy layer computes concept importance using these weights, considered as a group. For each concept, for example the concept wheel, we consider the L2 norm of the weights connected to the neuron associated to the concept wheel. This is a summary of the importance of the concept wheel. We repeat the same procedure for the concept beak, and so on for all the remaining concepts. The second step is to make concepts compete to survive. Only the most important concepts should remain. To this aim, the entropy layer applies a softmax over concept importance. The third step is to get the attention scores. They are obtained by normalizing the alpha scores to avoid numerical instability. And finally, the layer weights the relevance of each concept by the attention scores. Notice how an attention score close to zero would have the effect of pruning the, corris the corresponding concept. This way, the network would learn automatically how to select relevant concepts and get rid of irrelevant ones. Using this attention mechanism, the extraction of local explanations is simple. We just need the normalized attention scores and the concept tuple of the sample we want to explain. First, we booleanize the scores, and then we use the Boolean attention scores to select the most relevant subset of concepts, like in this case the concept beak and the concept wings. Now, the values of the most relevant concepts correspond to a mean term, which is our local explanations explanation we can write in propositional logic. Now, to minimize the complexity of local explanations we can, that can grow arbitrarily uh, long, in the loss function we minimize the entropy of the attention scores after the softmax. As an example, consider these two sets of attention scores. The entropy of the second set is lower than the entropy of the first. In fact, the entropy is minimized when the distribution of attention scores is sharp. This corresponds to pruning as many concepts as possible and getting concise local explanations as a result. Finally, to extract global explanations, we just need to build an empirical truth table 
with all the mean terms corresponding to local explanations along with the corresponding task predictions. Notice how each row of this table corresponds to a local explanation. Like if a if a if an image has a beak inside and a pair of wings, it's likely the image contains a bird. While if we consider all the rows where the task is true, we get a global explanation for that class. A rule that is valid for all the samples for which the task is true. In practice, implementing ELANs requires four lines of code only. Just import PyTorch explain, add the um, entropy layer, then add the entropy loss to your loss function and extract logic explanations. Yes, it's that easy. In terms of experiments, we tested our method on four different datasets. Two image datasets, CUB and MNIST. Then we implemented a cascade of ELANs for the VDEM dataset. And finally, we applied ELANs on MIMIC2, a large clinical dataset. We compared ELANs to state-of-the-art white boxes and black boxes, and we identified three main findings. First, ELANs classification accuracy matches the accuracy of black boxes like an equivalent feed-forward neural network or a random forest. Second, ELANs provide Pareto optimal explanations. If we look at the accuracy complexity plane, Elaine's explanations are always either more concise or more accurate than white box explanations. And third, the explanation extraction from Elaine's is two to three times order of magnitudes faster than state-of-the-art white boxes like Bayesian rule lists. Also, ELANs explanations are easy to interpret for anyone. Here's an example of two global explanations found by ELANs on the clinical dataset. A patient will recover if and only if the patient did not have um, a liver disease a stroke or a malignant cancer. It's easy to check that this explanation makes sense even for non-clinicians. In summary, the results have told us two things. ELANs can replace both end-to-end -end black boxes and state-of-the-art white boxes as they inherit the best of the two worlds. The three main limitations of ELANs are first, concept annotations are not always available and can be expensive to generate. Second, concept sets can be incomplete. And third, the true function from concepts to task might be much different from any Boolean function. In all these cases, ELANs may struggle. Nonetheless, our results proved how ELANs can fill the three main knowledge gaps of explainable AI we mentioned at the beginning. First, ELANs introduce both in the architecture and in the learning process a few inductive biases designed for explainability purposes, making these models explainable by design. Second, ELANs can provide both local and global explanations. They can explain the behavior of the model for a whole class of samples. 
And third, Elan's explanations are decision-oriented. Logic formulas, in fact, highlight both the most important features and how these features are combined by the model to make predictions. This work is significant as it shows how explainable by design models can be as, um, as accurate as state-of-the-art black boxes while being as explainable as state-of-the-art white boxes. As a result, we have much we can have a much better interaction with the model by looking at the explanations or correcting logical formulas or intervening at the concept level. This is why we believe ELANs to be a step forward towards a safer deployment of deep learning in safety critical domains.